So you've edited that video, you uploaded it to YouTube, made it go public, and then notice there was a mistake in it. Don't worry, it's happened to all of us, but I'm gonna show you an easy way to edit that video while it's still live on YouTube without deleting it and starting all over and losing your views. So let's jump in. So first we're gonna head over to YouTube Studio on the channel that you're looking to work off of. And you're just gonna head over to your content page and select the video that you want to edit. We're just gonna click on this one here and you're gonna go over onto the sidebar and you're gonna click on editor. All right, and once you're in here, you'll see some options in the video editor. You got trim cut, blur, audio, end screen, and info cards. Now, obviously there's some limitations to this. This isn't gonna be as robust of an editor as what you could do in your editing software, so I wouldn't fully rely on this, but this really comes in handy if you realize there was a mistake or something that you just meant to cut out of the video and didn't. What you can do, you know, a common one is maybe there's a, a bad clip or something that, that's in the video, you know, B-roll that you meant to cut out. Well, you click on the add trim. And so what you can do is you could just slide this over. Let's say, you know, oh, I didn't want to add, I wanted the video to start right there, right? And you can preview that, or maybe you wanted to cut out the very ending of it. You could do those sorts of things. You could also go in here and add a new cut. So let's say you wanted to cut something out of that, and you just want to go, I want to squeeze that out. You can do that, okay? It'll take a couple of minutes to render that out and readjust it, so it won't be live immediate, but that's an option. I'm going to just discard those changes because I don't want to do that. The other option is to blur. Let's say this was something that actually happened to me was that, you know, there's a license plate or a phone number that's being shown on the screen that you don't want to be there. Uh, or maybe a face. Maybe there's a kid's face or somebody's face in public that you did want to show. You could click on the blur option and you just click on that. Let's say we want to do a face blur. And what it's going to do is it's going to detect the faces and you click on the face that you want to blur out, it'll track that and make sure that that's blurred out. So that's really a nice option. You could also do a custom blur, which basically is you just make a section over the face or maybe these people, this group in the back and you just want to blur that out. You could do that. You can make it an oval. You could have that fixed to a position. You can track an object. Again, I'm going to discard the changes. If you want those kept, you just click on save. And then you have audio. So you could click on this, add audio. They have some tracks that are included in their royalty-free library, or if you have your own, you can add those in there, adjust the volume, do things like that. And then you can edit your end screen if you want to change what's happening there. And then you can also add video cards just like you can do in the editor. But I would say the trim out, the blur are the ones that I use most frequently when I go, oh, I just need to get that out of there. I, you know, maybe it's a, a phone number that you put on the screen that's not accurate anymore. It's things like that that you could edit out there. And once you have all the changes that you want to make, you'll click on save. I don't have any changes right now, but you'll click on save. Again, it'll take a minute to process, but the video, the old version of the video will stay active and live. And then it seamlessly swaps it out for the new video. All of your links will remain the same, but it's a great way to make adjustments on the fly to your video if there's something important that you need to adjust without losing all the views, losing all of the analytics going along with that video. I hope you found this helpful and I will see you in the next video.